Hello everyone, it's TVZ here with another toy review, and this time we're going to be reviewing a pate from Ultimate Gaia. So as you guys might already know, this is one of my newer figures. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through my newer figures and then I can get to my older figures. And I might not get through all my figures because you might know, but I'm super lazy with toy reviews. What's that noise? Never mind. Just don't mind it. I don't know what that is actually. But yeah, so we're just gonna go on the figure. And as you guys might already know, it, -da -da, it did come with this tag. So, there's a pate. There's a pate. And there's a fine Ultimate Gaia. And there's the desert scene, as you guys might know, and that's who they fought. He was a pretty tough enemy for Ultimate Gaia. And then here's all the stuff, and I did not remember the name, so I put it up there, but this is all this stuff. So yeah, all this Japanese stuff. Ultimate series, and I'm just gonna put it back here as I always do. And now let's get on with the figure. So this figure is a um, pretty good figure. Uh, let me just do this, okay. Ugh. Okay. Listen, leave it like this. You know? So this is a pretty good figure. It's really hard from the standard points. There we go, you gotta understand. So this figure, let's go into the history. History is that, I don't know, I've never seen Ultimate Guy, but I, I saw the battle between them. Ultimate Guy was in the desert for some reason, and Apate was roaming around like, I'm gonna kick some people's butts, and then, well, I'm gonna kill some people, and then um, Ultimate Guy appeared in fire, and he was losing so badly. This monster is a little bit strange. Whenever he runs, he makes glass noises, and as you guys might have heard, he, his noise is made from an elephant sound, which is sort of weird. I wouldn't suspect this type of creature to have that type of noise, but I don't know. And I always imagine this creature to be like a guardian or something, because that's just what he looks like to me. Some sort of like rock guardian or something. From like a mythology, it looks like something from mythology or something. But, so and then he, Ultimate guy is totally losing, then Ultimate, a ghoul, comes and saves him and blows him up. And yeah, that's really how. I, I don't exactly, I've never seen the show, so all I know is just the battle. Let's go, it's, so yeah, I'm um, sorry, I was looking at something else. So yeah, um, let's, let's move on to the figure. So detail. This figure, as you can see, has pretty good detail. As you can see, it's got all these little lines all over its body. The, de the detail is pretty fantastic. And right here, I like this part right here, because it actually makes it look like someone's in a suit. Because there actually was nothing here, it was just like, sort of like a jumpsuit right there. And then, here's this giant claw, this is the one with the claw version. I don't know if there's any other version, most people do not like this figure. So yeah. And there's the face, and then there's this little cute thing. I don't know what this monster represents. But yeah. So detail on this figure is pretty fantastic. That's all I gotta say. It's pretty, it's not pretty fantastic, it's fantastic. It's just fantastic, because I love this back, and it just looks pretty, it looks pretty amazing. It makes it get that stone feel, which, Pretty sure this monster is trying to resemble. So um yeah. Then now let's go on to um sorry. Um now let's go on to what's next? Sorry, I'm like really out right now. Paint job. So paint job on this figure. Paint's just mainly all brown, so there's not really like any like major paint jobs. But they did do a pretty fantastic job on this main heart thingy. It's blue, then it's got the gold, and then the eye looks fantastic. The eye looks really disturbing. Like, <sighs> it's getting hit. So this figure is really, really, paint job is pretty fantastic. It's all mainly brown, but it does have yellow and blue. Besides that, uh, yellow, blue, black, and mainly brown. Besides that, no, no other colors. So now let's move on to articulation. Articulation on this figure. This figure has three rotations, as any other any other human figure, because it has no tail. The arms rotate 360, and then the waist uh, rotates 360. But it's really, really difficult to do. Uh, yeah. 
So yeah, this, so this figure can rotate 360. Yeah. So it's got three rotations, and that's pretty basic for a human, fig human figure. I think it would be kind of cool if they made a neck piece, but then again, that would take a lot of the detail. As you can see, the back of this looks all bumpy. This looks pretty cool. I like it. I, I just... This is one of my favorite figures, but this is a pretty good looking figure. Um, on, in it, on its own. Um, that's what I'll give it. So then, um, what else do I gotta say? Scaling. Dang it, I didn't bring anyone down. I'll go get, I'll be right back. I'm sorry, I'm like, not exactly prepared. Let me just grab some people really quick. Okay, I'm back. So, um, so this figure, I right, never mind. I'm gonna tell. Most people do not exactly like this figure. This figure is not one of my favorites. It's particularly just like, you know, it's like a basic figure that you'd see. So first off, we're just gonna bring in Ultimate Tiga, the only only Ultimate I have. These two actually fought in my in my film, Ultimate episode, Ultimate Tiga series episode, I think four. And these two fought. And this guy was kicking his butt, but then he kicked his butt, and it was a pretty quick battle. But then again, I wasn't doing that really good. Oh my gosh. Um, this claw thing right here, it's got a glue seal. I think you can break that, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't like breaking my figures. As you can see, this is pretty good sizing. Ultraman is about the same size. And my guys, this back thing, he's a little bit bigger. So this is pretty good sizing. They look really good if they're in a movie like this. They look pretty good. So. Next up, we have, let's just do this. Next up, just for fun, this guy has not been in any of my reviews lately, so I'm just gonna bring him in. Red King. He might have been in one of my early reviews, in one of my latest reviews, but I don't remember. So I'm just gonna put this guy in now. This looks pretty good. Red King's about the same size as him, sort of like how Ultraman would be with Red King. So this is pretty good sizing. But I would say I think Red King would be a little bit taller, like maybe like this size. But what, what do I know? And then next up, last but not least, just, this guy has not gotten any spotlight either. So I'm just bringing him, him in. Bandai Creations, Godzilla 2000. Oh, well, Godzilla 2000 I have and I can own. This one, most people will gripe about. They hate this figure. But I like this figure. This figure is pretty fantastic. I mean, it just looks good to me. I'll get to that when I do this guy. So th this is pretty good sizing. Then again, this guy would be like this big in real life to him. Because this is one of the biggest Godzillas, but this looks good for a movie. You can make Godzilla kick this guy's butt, but and then Apate can kick his butt, and then Ultimate can come in and go like, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yeah. So yeah. And that's really it for this figure. I do not want to go too much in too much special effects and everything because I'm really like lazy. I'm really lazy. So yeah, that's really all for this figure, and I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry, this thing looks. This other thing that I have looks like it has a button, but it's not working. Whatever. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm really focusing out. But this, all in all, this figure is pretty fantastic. Tell me if I actually missed anything because I haven't done toy reviews in a while. That review that I just did was actually from like a month, like two months ago. So yeah, and I just put it put it on now because as I told you, I'm lazy. So this figure, I don't know, it's not one of my favorite figures because it's just like any of your classic figures you would have, like just like Red King. He's not exactly the best. He's just a classic figure you want to have. But this figure is pretty fantastic. I um, pick him up. Most people do not like this figure. I have no clue why. This figure is pretty cool looking. I don't think it's exactly my style. I think I think that's why. I think I'm just biased. Because this figure just looks too human to me. I don't know. Of course, then again, this guy looks like human. But, I mean, this this guy, he, he looks like, like a kingdom or something. Kingdom monster. And I like it better when they look like monsters. Like, to me, if you, do you, so do you think this looks like a monster? This looks like a monster. This is a monster for you. So yeah, so this figure I gave a three out of five, mainly because I'm just biased. But but yeah, so but this figure is pretty good. It didn't get a two out of 
five. I got three out of five. So yeah, so this, go pick this figure up. Um, I got it on eBay for I no wait. I asked my mom for it for Christmas on eBay, so I'm guessing she got it from eBay. And yeah, so probably got it from eBay. It was about he was actually ten dollars. Most of the Ultraman figures are ten dollars. Well, Godzilla figures like this guy, they cost around twenty, so it's sort of like a ripoff. <laughs> and this is a pretty good figure. I'm sorry I'm like dazing off, but dazing off today. But this is a pretty good figure. Go check it out. Um, he, um, he, uh, yeah. That's that's all I really gotta say. Go pick this figure up. He got a four to four to five. So go pick this figure up. Pretty pretty sure you'll be able to find him somewhere. So see you later. I have no clue who the heck I made a bounce away. He he's more like this. So he doesn't walk like that. There we go. Yeah.